Hello, friends. It's been a long time. Get it. Sadly, it was not my intention to go <laughs> three months now between uploading videos. It's a long time. Okay, I'm in the plane of time if you didn't get it. And my apologies if I triggered anyone with this zone or this music who had some negative experiences rating here. I count myself in that category. I did not enjoy this zone whatsoever. Thought it was pretty overrated. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. Time has been lost, unfortunately. So if we go back to August, I had recorded the level 17 video, which was a great video. I say that very objectively. And I not only recorded it, but I edited it and I was rendering it. And I recorded it the week of uh, the Olympics were on. I remember I had the Olympics on the background while I was grinding through level 17. So I remember it was rendering and I had my headphones on, plugged into the headphone jack. And I remember seeing on the screen, it was done 45% rendering and I reached over to grab something and of course the cord on my headphones yanked my laptop off the table, fell right on the headphone jack, snapped that right off. That was actually a real pain in the ass to dig out of the little hole that it was caught in. And after that, my computer was just not working properly. So I called up, uh, I, I went on Yelp and I found, I'm not super into computers to the point that I know how to fix them when they're corrupt, which is what I was, the message I was getting when I was started up. Found some guy on Yelp. He got good reviews. I know there's some suspicions about Yelp reviews potentially being bought and paid for, whatever. I just found some guy. He came and picked it up. He said he could fix it in a day, ideally. Uh, that is not at all what happened. He tried rend uh, cloning it numerous times. It kept getting stuck at like 73%. And he tried transferring files over. I specifically told him, can you find any file that says level 17 in it? All those files, including other old ones, like I was like, can you also find a video that says Coldane in it? I'd like to save that. They wouldn't open when he transferred them. They, they said something about a corrupt memory. I mean, he told me, first of all, my bad for not having any kind of backup. No cloud backup, no external hard drive. But he told me that part of the problem was that I had a mechanical hard drive. He said if it was a solid state, it might not have been so bad. I don't know. I don't know. I yield to him. But I got nothing. And he was, at the end of the day, I mean, hell, at the end of the month, it took a month before we finally gave up. And he was like, I've never tried so hard and rescued so little. He told me I could go through the whole like file recovery, forensic, whatever, all that whole process. But he was like, you're gonna pay for it if you go through that. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not some YouTuber with like a million subscribers where I'm gonna drop whatever 900 bucks on it or more on file recovery. So he gave me a, a fresh install of Windows 10, a new solid state hard drive. Thankfully, that's all he charged me for was the hard drive. And uh, I spent last weekend downloading all the crap I needed to make these videos and just to have a laptop in general. You know, P99, Titanium, OBX, Audacity, when, uh, Adobe Premiere. Now I'm back and I thought to myself, okay, well, I could either jump right into level 18 and just be like, look, I lost level 17. Or since I have the power to control time, I could do a dramatic recap of the level 17 video as I remember it. And so that's what I decided to do. So without further ado, let's get started. So I started at the level in Crushbone. Now, I didn't stay in Crushbone for very long. Really, all I wanted to do was quickly turn in the key that I had to Relton Brenklog if he was up. And I made myself big here for a dramatic effect. Because that's what you do when you get your own server. So initially when I logged in, I was somewhere over there and all these mobs were gone. They were just not there at all. And it was a clear shot right over to where Relton is in that little pit there. So I ran over, except I wasn't this big. Oh, come on, come on. And, oh, I'm running too fast. There was one NPC up and it was this spot, but it wasn't an Orc Legionnaire. It was something like an Orc Taskmaster or something like that. And it was blue and I was like, okay, I could take that. So I start fighting it and all of a sudden, all those mobs that were gone over there, they start walking back slowly. And I realized they weren't gone because they weren't up. They were gone because someone trained them to the zone and I just happened to log in after the train and run by. So I'm fighting this mob and in the background, I see all these like legionnaires and slavers and stuff start to walk back this way. And I was like, okay, I gotta burn this thing down real quick. Burned them down, got some sort of key and a whip. And then I checked inside the pit and Relton was not there. Uh, I did get the key from killing that one. 
a, a different key than the Ralton one, and I gave it to an elven slave. It wasn't a high elf, it was a wood elf, it was somewhere around here. Uh, maybe it was a dwarf, I can't remember. It wasn't a high elf, though. I turned that in, and then I ran like hell to the zone. After that, as with any RPG, before you go off on an adventure somewhere new, you gotta go back to town and sell. Oh, damn it, come on. Uh, you know what, let's just make this easy. So that's what I did. I went back to town and Kelethan, and I sold at the bank here, <laughs> right here. Is this the bank? I think this is the bank, can't even remember. But you know, I sold all the crap that I had in my inventory. I uh, put a few belts and things like that in the bank and I grabbed some food and water and then it was time to head off on an adventure. Now this will be far from the most exciting portion of this video. In fact, the most exciting is probably me falling off of, falling to my death in plenty of time. Um, the way that I, oh come on. The way that I got, ignore all that, to Dagner's Cauldron. I'm sorry, this thing is so choppy right now. I still got some OBS settings that I need to fix. Really, three, okay. You can follow these paths to get to Dagner's. For the sake of completion, I'm gonna show this. I think you just hug the left wall. And that's what I did in this video. Uh, the video that I lost. You hug the left wall. I didn't get into any fights. I don't think you're gonna see Corflink or anything like that around here. Hug the left wall. Uh, the paths just kind of take you out of the way and eventually you end up on this path anyway. And then you take this path and then that leads you right into Dagner's Cauldron. So once in Dagner's, I started by making a comment about this whole maze that you face at the beginning here, which I find to be a bit ridiculous how long it is. And I made a comment about like how some junior developer was probably like, hey, I bet it would be fun to just really screw with the player base. Let's make this really long uh, <laughs> little maze thing at the beginning. And I also talked about the name Dagner's Cauldron. I, I get the cauldron part. I don't know who Dagner is. I assume it's a dwarf, but I could be wrong. Could be something even more ancient, maybe involving the fish people that live, the Prexus people under that zone in Kedge Keep. I can't remember the name of them right now. Um, I don't know. But I did think that the name Dagner probably has something to do with it being, uh, what do they call it, an anagram, where you twist around the words, the letters of a word, to, to um, dragon. That's just the theory. I mean, look, RPGs, their bread and butter has always been dragons, so they wanna ignore her. They wanna talk about dragons and refer to them as much as possible. So something interesting happened here. I, uh, I was looking around, love the music, I was looking around and I saw, a, I, I was actually in Viz vs Undead, I saw a goblin and it was like one of these undertow goblins, whatever they're called. I was fighting it and then, or I pulled it and along came a skeleton. So I'm fighting a goblin here and a skeleton here and I'm like, oh, that must be its pet. It must be a necro, but it wasn't casting any spells. And then I scroll up and I realized, oh, never mind, the goblin and the skeleton are two separate mobs. And then I did a third person view and I found out I had one behind me too. So that gave me an opportunity to talk about something that I think a lot of people, especially people that solo, would want to know if you're playing this game. Because I was so close to the zone line, I was like, look, let me just run through this annoying maze that some junior developer came up with in 1997. And I burned down the goblin and then I had just the two skeletons. I didn't have any of my undead nukes up, I just had the invisvers undead up. So I decided, hey, here's an idea. I'll pull them both to the zone line. I had, the, I thought I had enough mana to kill one of them, but not both. I pulled both of them to the zone line. I rooted one of them, I zoned out, I zoned back in, and the rooted one was still there. That's a really good strategy because your root will likely still hold effect. And even if it doesn't, I mean, snare would be optimal, but as a cleric, I don't have that. Even if it doesn't, what you can do is it'll just kind of delay how long it takes that NPC to walk back. Because even if root fades while you're zoning, by the time you zone back in, that one skeleton will be closer than the one that you didn't root at all. So it's a good way to kind of single mobs. Um, it's almost like an elaborate version of Feign Death. And just for the sake of not having to swim here, 
this is pretty much what I did. I talked about how there's a camp of NPCs right here that I remember when I ran through here as my XR character way back in the day. I got attacked and killed by. There was also a dwarf NPC there. As a gnome cleric, even Bertoxus, I don't think I'm at risk for such things. But uh, just something to keep in mind if you're an evil character. Avoid those. I don't really know the purpose of those NPCs. And also they fight with goblins, which is kind of interesting to watch. And right here you have the big hole in the wall, which is to the estate of unrest. So I zoned in. Now once inside, here's, here's a rundown of what happened. I turned on LFG, I'm level 17. I pretty quickly discovered you're not getting a group here at level 17. Is it possible? Yes. But based on the current population of P99 and how people tend to play this game, it didn't seem like it was likely. What I discovered was I am prime, uh, so prime level for this area out here, like outside the hedge maze, seems to be about 12 to 15-ish. And then the very lowest level inside the mansion, the estate, seems to be about, I, I wanna say that camp they call MR main room is about level 19 to 23-ish. So as a level 17, I was kinda in between camps. So I talked to a couple of people that were LFG. I was like, hey, do you wanna duo or see if we can start a group? And they were like, no, nah, I'm waiting for a main room group. I quickly realized it wasn't gonna happen. I wasn't gonna get a group. Uh, these death beetles were all green out here. They were high enough green to give me XP. I probably killed about 20 death beetles out here, not really on purpose. Uh, maybe that's a little high, but let's just say I killed a bunch and maybe one or two of them didn't give me XP. The reason I killed them is because they would attack me. Now what I found out, now ignore on this server the fact that it says dubious, they're scowl on P99. If I get about this close, maybe this this close, they'll aggro me on P99. But if, I, if, if I'm like this distance, they won't aggro me. So I thought that was really interesting. I had to get really close to get them to aggro me. But if I were to pull a skeleton or a zombie or whatever, their aggro radius seemed to have increased in terms of assisting the skeletons. That really pissed me off because there were times where I would pull a skeleton or a zombie that was nowhere near a beetle and like two or three beetles would come. Now, this is a pain in the ass because I usually either have smite or my undead nuke them, not both at the same time. So one time I got, I got like five. I got like one skeleton and four beetles. And I was like, this, this is ridiculous. So I called a train to zone. I started running to the zone and someone was like, from where? Because remember, this is P99. It's a relatively populated zone. And then I, I, I pulled a Lucille Bluth. I was like, I don't understand the question and therefore I refuse to respond to it. Because I'm just not well, well versed enough in this zone. Most of my experience was in the castle. Um, I didn't even know what to call it. And then as I was running out to the zone line, like in this long little corridor here, someone said, it looks like yard trash. And I was like, aha, that's the name of the camp I'm at, yard. Because if they see beetles and zombies, they're like, oh, it must be yard. So what I ended up doing for the bulk of the level while I was watching the Olympics, and I didn't record this, uh, I recorded a little bit right at the end. I would go into the overhead view like this, and I would look at the, because I don't have this maze memorized, I would look at the, the shrub maze and I would look for NPCs that were up. I would say on this left side, there were probably about three or four spawns. I don't remember precisely. And then I say left side because this path splits them up. You got the left side of the shrub maze and you got the right side. The right side had one more, it seemed like, and they were static, so they weren't wanderers. And I tended to see this one of five mobs, I would see a jack-o'-lantern, which is technically, in fact, I think there's one up right now. Um, full disclosure, this is not the first time I tried to record this video. I have had a nightmare with OBS settings. Apparently there's not a jack-o'-lantern, nope, never mind. There was one right here the other day. You can get a jack-o'-lantern, you can get a death beetle as you just saw, you can get a tormented dead, which is usually, I would see those over there. You can get a greater skeleton, and you can get a will-o'-wisp, that was the rare one. I think that it was actually called a giant wisp. So everything, including the jack-o'-lantern, I could use my undead nuke except for the will-o'-wisp and the, the death beetle. Interestingly, the death beetle, when it would spawn, it was actually a higher level, like 50% of the time they were blue versus the ones that were wandering in the yard. So those tend to be a little higher level. There was about four on this side, let's say, and three on that side. But what screwed me up was, I guess they weren't all on that six minute time spawn that you tend to get in the server for trash mobs because 
I would go through that side, I would go through this side, and I would run out of mobs, and I was like full mana and had nothing to kill. But regardless, that's how I spent this level, mostly in this overhead view, running around the maze, because I'm not very good at memorizing complex patterns like this. And uh, yeah, I hit level 18. It was a bit anticlimactic because I didn't have any groups. I didn't go inside the mansion. I saw a lot of trains, especially festering hags, which I believe are only in the basement. Um, I hope to show that at some point. I'm not going to show it on this dinky little GM server that I have. I want to show it on the real server. But real quick, I'm going to end on this note. I missed it, but the one-year anniversary of me starting this walkthrough happened recently. I believe I started that up in September of 2020. Uh, you know, if you told me a year from then I was going to be not even level 20, <laughs> I would have been like, well, what's the holdup? But, you know, life gets in the way. But I'm still going strong. I'm having all these issues. I did order a new computer um, because this new hard drive wasn't... I, I needed a new computer in general. The hard drive was just kind of icing on the cake. Um, who knows when it'll arrive. It's a Lenovo. It's a Ryzen. I'm, I'm pretty pumped for it. Um, yeah, this walkthrough isn't going anywhere. It's going strong, despite all the issues. Um, progress, hopefully, will start coming more quickly. But, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. And that's what happened. That's what you missed in level 17.